Unit 5 Human Nervous System Exercise 5.2 1. Tick the correct answer A. Which one is the right order in case of meninges outer to inner? I. Pia mater, arachnoid and dura mater E. Arachnoid, pia mater and dura mater E. Arachnoid, dura mater and pia mater IV. Dura mater, arachnoid and pia mater B. Which part of the nervous system is in ash color? I. Nerve fibers E. Cytin E. Axon IV. Dendrites C. Injury to which part of the brain can cause coma? I. Cranium E. Cerebellum E. Cerebrum IV. Medulla oblongata D. Which nerve carries messages from body parts to the brain? I. Motor nerve E. Sensory nerve E. Ganglia IV. Both motor and sensory nerve E. Which part of the nervous system controls reflex actions? I. Cerebrum E. Cerebellum E. Medulla oblongata IV. Spinal cord 2. Give reason. A. A person suffers in a coma stage when the large brain is healed. Answer. A person suffers in a coma stage when the large brain is healed. Because medulla oblongata is affected which controls vital activities like heartbeat and respiration, leading to coma. B. The hand is withdrawn suddenly when a hot object is touched by finger. Answer. The hand is withdrawn suddenly when a hot object is touched by finger. Because reflex action occurs through the spinal cord without involvement of the brain to protect the body from harm. C. Spinal cord is known as the center of reflex action. Answer. Spinal cord is known as the center of reflex action. Because it receives sensory input and sends direct motor response without brain involvement during reflex actions. 3. Differentiate. A. Cranial and spinal nerves Cranial nerves. Cranial nerves originate from the brain. There are 12 pairs of cranial nerves. They control the functions of the head and face. Spinal nerves. Spinal nerves originate from the spinal cord. There are 31 pairs of spinal nerves. They control the functions of the body below the neck. B. Sensory and motor nerves Sensory nerves. Sensory nerves carry impulses from sense organs to the brain or spinal cord. They help in sensing touch, pain, and temperature. Sensory nerves transmit sensory information to the central nervous system. Motor nerves. Motor nerves carry impulses from the brain or spinal cord to muscles or glands. They control muscle movement and gland activities. Motor nerves send commands to perform actions. C. Cerebrum and Cerebellum Cerebrum. The cerebrum is the largest part of the brain. It controls intelligence, memory, and voluntary actions. The cerebrum is located at the top front of the brain. Cerebellum. The cerebellum is smaller and located below the cerebrum. It controls balance, posture, and coordination. The cerebellum helps maintain body equilibrium. D. Sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system prepares the body for emergency situations. It increases heart rate and breathing. It activates the fight-or-flight response. Parasympathetic nervous system. The parasympathetic nervous system works during rest and digestion. It slows down heart rate and breathing. It calms the body and conserves energy. 4. Answer the following questions. A. Sketch a neat diagram of brain and label its different parts. Answer. B. What is the function of medulla oblongata? Explain. Answer. The medulla oblongata controls vital involuntary activities such as heartbeat, breathing, and blood pressure. It acts as a communication center between the brain and spinal cord, transmitting nerve signals and maintaining essential body functions without conscious effort. C. What is the function of autonomic nervous system? Describe with a diagram. Answer. The autonomic nervous system controls involuntary body functions like heartbeat, digestion, and respiration. It has two parts, the sympathetic nervous system, which prepares the body for stressful situations, fight or flight, and the parasympathetic nervous system, which calms the body and conserves energy, rest and digest. D. Discuss the way of reflex action that occurs when we touch a hot object. Answer. When the skin touches a hot object, sensory nerves send an impulse to the spinal cord. The spinal cord processes this information immediately and sends a motor impulse to the muscles, causing the hand to withdraw quickly. This reflex action is automatic and happens without the brain's involvement to protect the body from injury. E. What is nervous system? 
Describe its type in brief. Answer. The nervous system is the network of nerves and cells that transmit signals between different parts of the body. It controls and coordinates bodily activities and responses. The nervous system is divided into Central nervous system CNS, consists of the brain and spinal cord. It processes information and controls the body. Peripheral nervous system PNS, includes all nerves outside the CNS. It connects the CNS to limbs and organs. The PNS further divides into the somatic nervous system, controls voluntary actions, and the autonomic nervous system, controls involuntary actions. F. Write the functions of the small brain, large brain and spinal cord. Answer. The small brain or cerebellum controls balance, posture, and coordination of muscles. The large brain or cerebrum is responsible for intelligence, memory, learning, and voluntary actions. The spinal cord transmits messages between the brain and the rest of the body and controls reflex actions. G. What is neuron? Draw a neat diagram and label its different parts and also write the functions of each part. Answer. A neuron is a specialized cell that transmits electrical impulses throughout the body. It has several parts. Dendrites, receive impulses from other neurons or receptors. Cell body, contains the nucleus and processes information. Axon, transmits impulses away from the cell body to other neurons or muscles. Axon terminals, pass the impulse to the next neuron or effector. H. Describe the reflex action with examples. Answer. Reflex action is an automatic, rapid, and involuntary response to a stimulus. It helps protect the body from harm by acting quickly without conscious thought. For example, withdrawing your hand after touching a hot object or blinking when something approaches your eye or reflex actions. I. Study the diagram and answer the following questions. Answer. I. Name the parts indicated in the diagram. Answer. The parts indicated in the diagram are A. Cerebrum B. Cerebellum C brain stem. E. Write the function of A, B and C. A. Cerebrum. The cerebrum controls voluntary actions, thinking, intelligence, memory, learning, and decision making. B. Cerebellum. The cerebellum maintains body balance and coordinates muscle movements. C. Brain stem. The brain stem controls vital involuntary activities such as heartbeat, breathing, and blood pressure. E. What happens when part C is healed? Answer. If part C, the brain stem, is healed properly after an injury, the control of vital functions like breathing, heartbeat, and digestion can be restored. However, if it is severely damaged and not healed properly, it may lead to serious problems or even death, as it controls life-sustaining processes.